Users, today I present to you a game I played during the Steam Festival. The game is called Oliha, or is pronounced as Oliha. This is a game created by Skeleton Crew and will be published by Devolver Digital. Oliha seems to be Old Norse, but I really cannot confirm on its meaning, if any. But it's a story of a sailor, a happy or Faraday, who tried to save people from slavery and starvation. Unfortunately, his ship and crew met with demise, but he found a legendary weapon. Harpoon of Legend is the name of the weapon, and he was trapped. Trapped and imprisoned by Clan Rottenwood. It seems like corruption and dishonored, along with Bioshock's rapture unraveling. It is pretty, pretty good. We start underground in a tomb where people stumble continuously. I believe it depicts, you know, them wailing or waiting for the demise. Even the art style depicts them as depraved or famished human beings, aimless and senseless in all its glory. The background is that of broken or rotten interior, which is quite resounding with their clan name. Proper Rottenwood guards feel non-human. I mean, look at the main character. Look at his face. I know, pixelated face, but look at it. Look at the depraved human beings. Even the archer enemy who seems to be a mercenary, is what I imagine. They all seem to be human. But these guys have faces. They're only possible after being rotated 90 degree clockwise. I mean, they are seriously effed up, bro. To the point that when you're fighting them, they usually have an extra feature like wings. Their spear style feels okay. I mean, human. I don't know why they don't have metal wings straight up and just go OP. But the plot progresses. You feel some memories revealed. You feel you meet certain clansmen and it gives you a God of War like feeling. Remember God of War 3 when you're fighting the Kraken and a soldier uh, meets you and asks you why you left them? Same, same here. Literally same. But it's really lovely. It gives you a look into the man that he was trying to be and utterly failed. The legendary harpoon though comes to his rescue. It gives him hope and power that he direly needed. He fights against these rotten wood guards, mercenaries, and traverses through this intricate maze of a prison. There's also a goodie I want to discuss, but that will be for the last. So let's jump to the rest, which is music. It is amazing. I mean, the sound effects are pretty timed and cute. I mean, have you seen them pronounce names? Like, look at the pronunciation of Oliha. And them narrating a story. Wow. Like, it is pure goodness. I love it. Then there is um, the art style, which, believe me, I find pretty appealing. <laughs> As you may have seen in my gameplay, I usually wander around to see if there's, you know, anything hidden. Even though this is a demo. I, I really love that. And that what, and that's what makes me look forward to the full game. There is though a special, special goodie which made me wanna not only make a video but also just feel, but also just want to relish the experience. And that is the final boss fight. You see, there's a slow build up till then. You feel tensed. You feel like there is a monster you need to fight, and there is one. A small elite who pretends to be a boss, I believe around the midway point, but he's not the real boss. And when that guy comes, wow.
It is amazing. His entry is staggering along with that music and the health bar. You have to fight him. He changes tactics all the time. He's flying like a godly being. His voice is gruesome. It's filled with blood lust. Ah, oh, like everything is done to perfection. I love the boss, okay? I must say I am in, I have a crush on the boss, okay? Like that's how good he is. He has um, these rotten wood clans member on deploy which is which i find pretty hilarious it's like he has a pocket dimension to store these idiots and um there are also some combos which i learned right before the boss fight like that was <laughs> it's so dumb of me but yeah there was um i just used the harpoon to literally traverse through the map and the only attack which they taught me was um aim shoot hold and once you know those spikies come just fresh dash and yeah the, the guy gets skewered there was also a sword a bow and pretty pretty helpful you really need to look into them as the boss fight will not be done without it because the harpoon's not working most of the time you need to wait for the boss to you know come to the ground and then slowly reap his health then when he flies around you have to wait for wait for it to throw grenades clans member knives whatever it wants it's amazing wait till he throws himself and repeat rinse and repeat However, as, as you slowly cut through his health, his face changes and it looks more and more horrific. Like there are times where you feel genuinely petrified. I mean, look at this face. Dude, the boss actually retreats. Like you have to go to the other side to finally kill him. And oh my God, it's amazing. Like the animation, the artwork and everything is mind blowing. I really love the boss fight, okay? More than, more than anything. I, I know the concept of a harpoon is pretty unique and I should focus more on it along with its combos, but the boss takes the cake. It really does. So, <laughs> this is more of a love letter than analysis, I must say. But I'll, I'll, I'll title it Analysis or Review of Oliha Demo. Is it Oliha or Oliha? I'm never sure. But the game's right, it's Oliha. So show some love, wishlist it, wait till it's released and play. Seriously, try the demo first. If you love it, please save it. Also, like, share, and subscribe. You know the drill by now. And um, yeah, have a nice day. Try some good demos. Suggest some good demos. And um, by the way, I'm more of a pro demo person. Anyway, outro.